go. Here we go. All right, guys, you should be on page 131. Uh, we're getting through this week. Uh, welcome back. And it's time for some more comparing fractions. So here we go. Let's get started right away. Now you will solve a similar problem using 1 as a benchmark. Now remember, when we're talking about benchmarks, we mean something to look at that helps us figure out how big something might be. So when you think of benchmark, you should go, you should probably go ahead and put in this instance, since we're using one, you should go ahead and put the benchmark in the middle, one in the middle. And remember, any fraction that has a smaller numerator than the denominator, like seven is smaller than eight, that's going to be less than one. Any numerator that's over the denominator, that's bigger than the number on the bottom, that's going to be greater than 1. So 7 eighths should be somewhere over here. And 11 over 10, since the numerator is bigger than the denominator, that should be somewhere over here, somewhere bigger than 1. Which fraction is greater than 1? Well, 7 eighths is less than over here, 11 tenths is over, so 11 tenths, right? Which fraction is less than 1? Well, that's got to be the other one, 7 eighths. So since 11 tenths is bigger than 1 and 7 eighths is less than 1, which fraction is greater? Explain. No problem. 11 tenths is greater because it is uh, uh, it's greater than 1 but 7 eighths is less than 1 fill in the blank with the correct uh, symbol to show the comparison okay so 11 tenths is greater Explain how you can use benchmarks to compare fractions. So all we're going to do for that part is just talk about like what I did up here with this number line looking thing. So first, you should put the benchmark in the middle of the number line. That's what I would do. Uh, then you should put the fractions you are comparing uh, where they belong on the number line. And I know you can't see that all the way, so let me just extend the page a little. Finally, finally, try to tell which one is greater using your benchmark number. Those are all the steps. Three steps. And if you remember this, you know, it'll help you, it'll help you get better on, on quizzes and tests and all that stuff. I'm leaving that up there for a second just so you have a chance to copy it down. And if that wasn't enough time for you, you're going to have to pause it, okay? Because we can't waste video. We can't waste video. Number 15. Fill in the blank. Explain how you found the answer. So 5 tenths and 3 fourths. You know what we should do? We should use uh, maybe a benchmark. Check it out. So let's think about 0. Let's think about the number one and let's think about half one half now one half should be in the middle of zero and one that's why I put it there now where does five tenths go well actually I'm glad you asked because five tenths is exactly one half it really is 5 tenths equals 1 half. If you divided 5 on top, and then you divided 5 on bottom, 
you know what you would get? You would get one half. So five tenths and one half are equivalent fractions. So five tenths actually belongs right on top of one half. Five tenths belongs right there. Where does three fourths belong? Well, two fourths is equal to one half, but three fourths is bigger than two fourths. So three fourths is bigger than two fourths, and two fourths is equal to one half. So that means three fourths is bigger than one half. That means three fourths is somewhere around here. So now looking at that, how can we tell which one's the bigger fraction? Well, three fourths is. Three fourths is the bigger fraction because it's further down the number line and we used one half as a benchmark to help us see that. Now the only way this would be hard is if you didn't know that five tenths equals one half and if you didn't know that two fourths equals one half. So therefore three fourths must be must be bigger. Maybe we should spend some time in class trying to remember what all the halves look like. There's one half, two fourths, uh, three sixths, four eighths, five tenths. I think that is something we should do. Rem if I forget to talk about that, someone raise their hand in the morning and, and mention it. We should definitely spend some time on that. <clears throat> Last one. Nathan walked 10 out of 10, 10 tenths of a mile. Sarah walked 19 twentieths of a mile. Who walked a greater distance? Explain. This is easy. You know why this is easy? Because 10 out of 10. What is 10 out of 10? What does it mean when the top and bottom number are the same thing? That means whatever shape you're dealing with, you know, a square, circle, however the pieces are split up, whatever, doesn't matter. That means 10 out of 10. That means every single piece is shaded in. That means the whole thing, the whole thing is shaded in. But 19 out of 20, this one right here, that means only 19 pieces are shaded in. So if we shaded in all the pieces, except for 19, you'd still have like this little itty bitty square that wasn't shaded in yet. Meanwhile, this whole thing, 10 out of 10, that means all the pieces are shaded in, but this one, only 19 out of 20, this one means one little piece didn't get shaded in. So which one's greater? The one that has it all shaded in or the one that has one little piece missing shaded in? The one that has it all shaded in is greater. So we can write 10 out of 10 is greater than 19 out of 20 because 10 out of 10 has all the... Oh, one second, please. That's my phone. Might be important. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm going to send someone out right now for that, okay? Thank you. Bye. I'm really sorry, kids. Take, give me, I don't want to start the video all over, so just give me 10 more seconds. If this is boring, I'm sorry. Just skip past it, I guess. Can you go out and do this? Yeah. All right. Should be that one. All right. Take, I don't know why, but take these tools also. <laughs> all right, sorry about that. I'm so sorry. That was like... I don't know, but that was like 40 seconds of your time that I wasted. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, so 10 tenths is greater than 19 out of 20 because 10 tenths has all the pieces shaded in. But 19 out of 20 has one piece not shaded in. Oof. All right, that explains that.
All right, guys, that's that's all we had to do. It's all we had to finish. I'm really sorry my phone went off. It was kind of an important phone call. I had to send uh, I had to send somebody out to fix something real quick. My apologies. But hey, homework's done. Did a good job, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, thanks for doing your homework with me. Bye.